Rates of reactions. One of the things we can look at is the effect of a catalyst. So in this experiment we are going to take some hydrogen peroxide and we're going to have a look at the effect of adding manganese dioxide as a catalyst and we'll see how it affects the rate of the reaction. Looking at catalysts, they can speed up the rate of reaction without actually being used up themselves. What they do is they form an intermediate compound, get something to work, and they are restored back to as they were. So the catalyst can be used again and again. So what we can do is we can look at here hydrogen peroxide, or sometimes called peroxygen and we can look at how manganese dioxide affects the rate of this reaction. Manganese dioxide is quite a nasty sort of substance, uh, other danger here so what we don't want to do is dispose of this really so it's a catalyst we can reuse it so at the end of this experiment what we can do is we can reclaim this and we can use it again and again and again the hydrogen peroxide comes with some warnings of it being fairly corrosive this is reasonably strong hydrogen peroxide 30 percent probably a bit stronger than you can buy in the shops so we are going to have to take a little bit of care using this. To set the experiment up what we're going to do is we're going to collect the gas that's going to be reduced from this over water. Hydrogen peroxide is H2O2, an extra oxygen really added onto water and it's fairly unstable and this stuff will break down naturally by itself. So we're just going to encourage it it's going to make a gas so what we're going to do is going to put some hydrogen peroxide in this little conical flask we're going to put a bung over the top with a piece of glass tubing this glass tubing we're going to put onto a specially bent piece of glass tubing which is going to sit in this container which will fill with water once it's filled with water we're going to then take a beehive shelf it has sort of a, a look of a beehive sh really so it's where it's got its name from and we're going to put that over making sure that the piece of glass delivering the oxygen is going to be directly under the hole all filled with water we're then going to take this measuring cylinder turn it upside down with it still full of water we're going to place that over the hole and we'll clamp it in place and then when we're ready what we'll do is put a small amount of the manganese dioxide catalyst in here very quickly place this bung over the top making an airtight seal We'll start the stopwatch and we will measure the amount of oxygen collected every few seconds. Let's set it up now. Now I've got the water and I've got my measuring cylinder prepared. Now we can get started. I'm going to put the beehive shelf in the water. I'm then going to put the glass tubing in into the beehive shelf so that the tubing is directly underneath the hole in the beehive shelf. That way the gas when it's produced is going to stream out of here directly into the measuring cylinder and not get caught up. And then we can just put that loosely on top here 
ready to go. Now hydrogen peroxide is particularly nasty stuff it causes nasty sort of burns so what we're going to do is put some gloves on this is simply because I don't fancy getting hydrogen peroxide burns and then because it's a reasonably dangerous substance I'm going to put my safety specs on okay we want here about 25 centimeter cubed of this hydrogen peroxide so it doesn't have to be measured exactly here just gives us an approximate measure put the lid on and we'll put that to the back out of the way and let's now put in the hydrogen peroxide into the conical flask right that bit's ready let's now set up the measuring cylinder I'm going to now put this into the water upside down and the benefit of the cling film here as you can see no water escapes no oxygen gets in and then if I just loosen this retort stand we can put this carefully over the top and tighten it up so it just holds it we don't want it very tight because we're not wanting to pry and break the measuring cylinder the hole is totally covered I've got my delivery tube directly underneath so we're about ready to start the experiment I'm just going to check that a little bit better actually there we are yeah it's fine all ready to go and the advantage I have of this piece of equipment is that by setting this length here and keeping it straight next to that I can ensure where the hole is now let's take our manganese dioxide and we don't want an awful lot of this because it's a catalyst so we'll take a small amount and we'll start the experiment ready on the stopwatch three two one go whoa <laughs> We're all ready to go the stopwatch is ready and we're going to use an electronic poem which you'll see on the screen we can carefully record this I'm going to take a small amount of the catalyst I really don't need very much and let's start the experiment three two one go can see that this is oxygen is being produced at a fairly rapid rate and now the experiment's actually complete although this will continue to produce more oxygen for a little while how do we show that this is actually oxygen gas well there is a very simple way of doing this and what we're going to do is quickly prove that we've got oxygen gas if I take a lighted splint and 
it's still it's got glowing at the side what I'm going to do is make it go out it's still glowing and what I should be able to do is relight it by putting it into oxygen Let's do that again and I imagine we can do a third time for good measure and there's our evidence we've actually produced oxygen gas so we can now have a look at the graph to see what's happening and what we should see is a fairly steady rate of production of the oxygen gas the experiment here still going but once it's stopped then I've got this catalyst in water that needs recovering and simply we can do that by filtering it and drying it and then we can use that catalyst again and again and again there we are catalysts how they affect the rate of a reaction you can see that the hydrogen peroxide doesn't normally bubble but when we add the manganese dioxide it certainly does and this experiment can be linked to one of the all-time great demos which is the elephant's toothpaste experiment and I'll provide you a link so you can have a look at that experiment. See you next time.